Hey everyone, so today's video is a get ready with me video because today I'm going shopping. So if you want to see how I achieved this makeup look that I'm going on today and learn more about my outfit, please keep watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. So let's get started. So I'm starting out as always with my Clinique Super Balanced Makeup and this is in the shade 02 Fair. So I actually have a new way to put on my foundation. I still use that Clinique foundation brush, but I kind of tap it all over my face in the different areas I want, but I'm not rubbing it in yet, and you'll see why in a minute. Because then I'm going to take my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, which is my latest obsession. It just really gives you that flawless airbrush look. So I'm just taking that and rubbing in that foundation that I've already placed on my face. Um, with my Clinique foundation brush, when I would rub it in, I would tend to get streaks across my face, whereas this way, it's just really more of that airbrush kind of look that I'm always going for. I think everybody is. Next, as always, I'm taking my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles in the color Brightener Illuminator 160, and I'm just applying that in a triangular motion under my eyes. Today, instead of blending in with my fingers, I'm going in with my Real Techniques setting brush. I know this is supposed to set your concealer and that kind of stuff, but I actually really like this to blend in that under eye area. Then I'll typically just take my fingers, kind of blend it out slightly a little bit more. So I'm using the Clinique All About Eyes Concealer. This is in the shade 03 Light Petal. It's supposed to go under your eyes, but I just like it to dab it all over my face in the, to cover up those blemishes. So just kind of take a squirt and dab it all over. And then just rub it in with my fingers. Now for the eyes. I'm starting off with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is in the shade Original. Um, I did a review on this because it makes my eyeshadow last all day without creasing. If you'd like to see that, I'll link that down below. And you're just putting a pea-sized amount on each of your eyelids. Bringing it up onto the brow bone like that. This is actually a Clinique bonus that I'm going to be using for my eyeshadow today. It is the Color Surge Eyeshadow Quad. It has the colors Chocolate Chip, which is a matte brown color, Stone Violet, which is a mauve lavender color. It has a sparkly pink color and then kind of a shimmery light pink kind of color. So that's what it looks like. So I'm starting out with my Sony Kashuk number 116 crease brush with the color Stone Violet. Dipping my brush in there, and I'm going to be putting this right in the crease, just going back and forth. So we're just blending, 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 and then I'm bringing it up a little bit higher onto that brow bone, just so we'll start to get the gradient effect. And then I'm going to dip my brush and get a little bit more and really go back into that crease, especially in that outer corner. And we're going in with that pink color in the palette, which is just a shimmery pink. And we're just going to use our finger for this, and you're going to put it right on the eyelid. Like that. And you can build it up if you want it a little bit darker, just put a little bit more on both eyelids. Then I once again just take that 116 brush with that stone violet color and kind of touch up the crease because the glitterness in the pink does kind of go up a little bit on the eyelid and I don't really want that. I want the crease to remain that violet color. Now with my e.l.f. smudge brush, I'm going to use that dark matte brown color in the outer corner. So you're going to just start by packing it right into that outer crease. And you are going to have to build this up. We're placing that right in that outer corner. And then you're going to kind of draw outward as if you were drawing your, eye your gel eyeliner in. And don't worry if it looks kind of funky, we'll fix it up. And 
you're just going to pull it in slightly over the top where that stone violet color is, but only about halfway into the eye. And you're going to take a clean brush and start blending this. It looks really harsh right now, but after blending it, it will look good. So just grabbing a little bit more of that brown color and really pushing it outward because this will give us kind of a little bit more of a smoky eye look. And you can kind of see it when I look back here, how it looks. So once again, I'm just blending back and forth and kind of upwards as well because by doing that, you will get more of that gradient effect of lighter colors more near your eyebrow and then darker into the crease. So now I'm doing that same exact thing except on my other eye. So I'm just packing that dark brown color into the outer V on my eye. And then I'm going to kind of pull it outward in a triangular kind of looking shape. I guess that's the way I would describe it. Kind of like if you're doing your wing eyeliner, I start by kind of doing a line and then I connect a top line to the first line. And then I just kind of go in and blend it all out. So now you can kind of see my eyes look pretty similar. We can always go back in and blend it out a little bit more, add a little bit of extra color after we put our liner on. Then what I like to do just to kind of top off this look is to go in with the Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour Metal in the color Inked in Pink. I just kind of take a little bit of this on my finger and tap it right in the center of my eyelid. That really is just going to bring that brightness to your eyelid because it's a metallic color. But you definitely don't need that brightness all over the eyes. Then you're just going to take that lightest shade right here in the palette. You're just going to take like a flat natural haired brush. This is just a random one. You're going to dip that in there and you're just kind of pat up. By doing this once again you're getting that gradient of dark in the crease to lighter as you go towards your eyebrow. This will help eliminate harsh lines. Then I'm taking my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in the shade Blackest Black. I'm going to apply this with my e.l.f. angled brush, as always. Just dipping my brush in slightly. I'm going to pull my eye taut and then just put the eyeliner on. And I'm just adding the wing, so going outward with a line like that, and then attaching this top line. Just like that. Now here's the one trick that everyone seems to keep asking me about. So people keep asking, how do I really get a sharp eyeshadow line without using tape? So I do the winged eyeliner first, and then I take a Q-tip with some makeup remover on it, and I go in right underneath, and I follow the edge of that eyeliner. And I just pull all the way up. I'm gonna wipe off the excess, and then there you have it. So now I'm just applying the gel liner to my other eye. I do it all along my upper lash line first, and then I go in and do the wing afterwards. Now I'm just cleaning it up to get that kind of straight line going on. Then we're just going to curl our eyelashes real quick. I just do like three to four pumps. Then it's mascara time. So we're just pulling upward in back and forth motions, shaking our brush to get the longest lashes possible. I forgot to mention that the mascara I'm using here today is the Clinique High Impact Mascara in the shade 01 Black. This was also given to me in the, with the Clinique bonus, so I figured I might as well try it. And I actually really like it. Then I'm going in setting my brows. I'm using my Smashbox Masterclass 3 Color and Contour Palette. I'm using the contour shade mostly and then I'll go in and use the bronzing shade a little bit more towards the middle of my face on my eyebrows. I'm doing this using my Sonia Kashuk number 105 brush. I'm taking that contour shade and I'm just starting to fill in my brows. Now I've already put the Urban Decay Primer Potion on my brows prior to doing this. I just think it helps this eyeshadow really stay on throughout the day. 
I'm not doing this in any special way. I'm just following the shape of my eyebrows. So I'm just going in with a touch of that bronze color towards the part of my eyebrow right there. And then I'm going to blend that back in with some of that contouring color. We can always go back in and touch this up and make it match my other eyebrow once I do the second one. So now I'm doing that one. In reality, I don't really need to fill in my brows, but I do like how they looked a little bit filled in. So my eyebrow game is looking a little strong here, but I'm just going to go in and clean it up using some of that All About Eyes concealer. I place it right in the middle here. And I just go in with that Sony Kashuk concealer brush again, and I just kind of do the shape of my eyebrows. But only from the top. So I just trace those eyebrows and then I put a little bit in the center to kind of cover some blemishes and also just define my brows more and then I blend it with my fingers. I feel like this just really defines my brows even more. And make sure over on the side here just to really blend it out. This is necessary so we don't get those harsh lines of concealer on the side of our face. Now before I put my bottom mascara on, I do like to go in and put my powder on. I'm just using my Clinique Stay Matte Pressed Powder in the shade 03 Stay Beige. I feel like this is really what starts to bring my look together. Now today I didn't really choose to go in and apply that brightener elsewhere. I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. I want more of a bronzed look versus a highlighted look today. And never forget to pull some of that powder down into your neck. Alright, so now that my powder is on, I'm going to go in with my NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer. And I'm just doing this on like a bigger fluffy brush. Just to bronze, kind of contour underneath my cheekbones. So I'm just taking my brush and blending back and forth to get that contour underneath my cheekbone, making that kind of fishy face. And remember that the first place you put your brush on your face is going to have the darkest color. So don't place your brush right really close to your lips to contour. You want to start back more by your hairline and then move forward. When I look back, you can kind of see the difference it makes. All right, and now I'm just going to go in and once again, as always, apply my favorite blush, which is MAC's Warm Soul. I'm using my MAC 168 Angled Contour Brush. Just to apply this to my apples of my cheeks, and kind of move upward into creating a blend between the bronzer and the blush. I'm just doing that on the other side. And I'm just kind of putting a little bit of bronzer up on my forehead where you, you would naturally get a shadow. I'll pull a little bit on my jaw. And then I like to drag a little bit into my neck. Now I'm going in under my eyes with NARS Larger Than Life Eyeliner in the shade 47th Street. It's just this really pretty kind of shimmery black color. And I just sped this up because I'm just applying that bottom liner as any person would from the outer corner to the very inner corner. And then once again just applying a little bit of mascara on those lower lashes. Because I am wearing this during the daytime, I'm not really going in super intensely with my mascara. And then to finish off this look, I'm going in with my e.l.f. matte lip color, and this is in the shade Natural. It's this really pretty mauve kind of pink color. I really like it. I'm just applying this all over my bottom and my upper lip. And then to top that off, I'm going in with my... MAC Cream Sheen Glass Lip Gloss in the shade Boy Bait. I really like this lip gloss in combination with that matte lipstick. I think that it just gives it a really pretty pinky nude lip. So that is the completed makeup look and I'll be back in a minute. So I put some wrist candy on. These are just some different bracelets and a watch. My outfit is just this really cute mauve pink dress with a black lace bandeau underneath it and I'll throw on a pair of sandals. I'm putting on my new black felt hat which is also from Nordstrom's. Then I'm just going to go grab my purse and I'm ready to go. So here's a final look at my outfit for the day. Kind of turning around showing you uh, all views. Alright so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I can't wait to go shopping, so I will see you in my next video. Bye.